Shalom and welcome to another episode of Living Supernaturally where we are looking at scripture and some of the prayers that have been prayed and how we can use them in our lives at our prayer times at our personal devotion devotional times we know that God's word is power it's living it's active and we can be bold to pray the prayers that we see in scripture for our meditation today we're going to be looking at the prayer of intercession as an example for all of us as believers paul has included some powerful prayers in in his letters but we just want to take one of them today and this is from colossians chapter 1 verses 9 to 12 which is the prayer of intercession there may be people in your life around your life maybe in your family that requires an intercession that requires a spiritual breakthrough for them to walk in maturity in faith and to walk with the lord and that's what we are going to be looking and praying for today there's nothing more powerful than praying scripture over the lives of our people of our loved ones who are yet to know christ in this passage with seven requests paul covers every area of a person's life that needs the lord's touch and that's what we are going to look at before we close with that passage in prayer now these are power packed verses we can pray not just for those we love but even for ourselves so let's look at them one by one we see in verse 9 we see for we see a prayer for spiritual discernment it says may we be filled with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and spiritual understanding while we pray this we are asking god to fill us with the spiritual discernment to know his will to have the all wisdom and spiritual understanding to have the discernment to understand what god's will is for our lives the second thing we see is that we walk worthy of the lord that we will walk in a manner that is worthy of the lord jesus christ jesus lived a blameless life and you and i are to pursue that same life and this is a prayer so that we conduct ourselves in the way that honors god and live a life blamelessly the third part or the third place area of the prayer is that we would please god in all respects it says fully pleasing god paul encouraged his believers to honor god and to please him in every walk of life always obeying him and doing what god wants them to do The fourth part of that prayer is where it's talking about being fruitful in every good work. We can pray that we will be fruitful, we will bear fruit in every good work. Our lives should have an impact, should have an impact here as well as an at as well as an eternal impact and we should be influencing others for the kingdom. Another part of the prayer is to increase in the knowledge of God that we will increasingly grow in knowing who he is and understanding who he is then it's to be strengthened with the power the power that God gives to be empowered for his glory and lastly to have a life of thanksgiving because he is qualified us to share in his inheritance So let's pray that scripture together. Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 to 12. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, this is the cry of our hearts. We do not cease praying for our loved ones, asking you to fill them with the knowledge of your will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that they will walk worthy of you, Lord, fully pleasing you, being fruitful in every good work. and increasing in the knowledge of you strengthened with all might according to your glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy that each of us may give thanks to you lord 
who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.